most of the usage of ChatGPT has been for therapy use. And there's a lot of a lot of discussion around it. We have cases where it's a companion app and it doesn't have to be chat GPT, right? It can be also any GPT out there. But the companion app was one of the cases told the child to commit suicide and not to seek help outside, right? And the child unfortunately did that. But there are many people out there. And the more I talk to people who are not in the industry like we are, how they're using it. And it can be scary because they truly believe it really yes. cares for them. It like it's alive. It listens to me. It tells me uh, I'm a good person and I'm not crazy. And while some people can truly develop, train one properly, because you got to understand your stuff, how to train it properly. Amazing. Yeah. But my point is, it's also fascinating for us as a humanity and to question ourselves, why though? Why do we use it for this? You know, thousands of reasons we could all use it, but collectively we decided we need it for our mental health. And this is a huge That's, indication. It says a lot. A gap. 